Oh, look at this. I've incorporated a live video feed of myself directly into this PowerPoint presentation. I can use this when presenting in Teams, in Zoom, or any other web conferencing software. I can also use it when recording my slides directly in PowerPoint. Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, we are going to look at how you can incorporate a live camera feed of yourself directly into your PowerPoint presentation. You know, there's no better way to connect with your audience than to include yourself in the presentation. At least that's what we found here at the Kevin Cookie Company. All right, let's check this out. Here I am in PowerPoint, and I'd like to insert a live video feed of myself when sharing this out with employees. Who knows, maybe employees will think management is actually more empathetic than we really are. To insert a cameo, click on the Insert tab up on top, and then all the way over on the right-hand side of the ribbon, click on the option called Cameo. This inserts a placeholder for the live camera feed onto my slide. If I click on the camera icon, that'll toggle on the preview, and if I click it again, it'll toggle it off. If I have multiple cameras, I can choose which camera I want to use. Here, I'll select the placeholder image. Up on top, I see that the camera tab is currently selected. All the way over on the left-hand side, I can click on this drop down and then I can select my camera. Now, currently it does not support virtual cameras like say OBS or NVIDIA broadcast, but hopefully soon. The camera feed object behaves just like any other object in PowerPoint. Here, I can move it around. I can also resize the object. I could also move the layer up or down. Here I have another semi-transparent object. I can pull that up so it sits in front of my camera feed. I can also adjust the look and feel. Up on top, I see a whole bunch of different camera styles that I can choose from. Here you'll see some of the most popular ones. But over here, I can also choose from camera shapes, and I could choose pretty much any shape that I want. Now, you might have noticed this slide talks about a revenue decline. So probably the most fitting shape for this is the down arrow. Let me select that. I can also add a border around my camera feed. And I can also add different effects to my camera feed. Here you'll see a few of the different options. And one of my favorites is the glow effect. Look at that. There's nothing like dressing up bad news with pretty visuals. Here on the next slide, I've already incorporated the Cameo, but overall this slide is somewhat uninspired and mediocre looking. Basically a good description for my slide design skills. To make this look better, click up on the Home tab and then on the far right hand side of the ribbon, click on Design Ideas. Here you'll see a number of different suggestions to make your slide look better, and this works perfectly well with Cameos. Now that my slide deck is all done, I can preview what it looks like in slideshow mode. And hey, look at that. This deck looks pretty fantastic and I think it's ready to share. So when and where would you use Cameo? It's currently available in slideshow mode in PowerPoint. You can also use it in Microsoft Teams, in Zoom, and any other web conferencing software when you share your full screen or just a window. For the video to work though, you just have to make sure that you turn off your video feed in the conferencing software and you have it turned on in PowerPoint. Coming soon, you'll be able to use Cameo with PowerPoint Live. What is that? Well, in Microsoft Teams, when you click on the share icon, you can load one of your presentations directly into Teams. Once you select your presentation, That'll load up the slides and you and your audience will be able to see your Cameo. Coming soon, you'll also be able to record your presentation and use your Cameos. In PowerPoint, on the top tabs, click on Record and here I'll select From Beginning. Then I could simply start recording my presentation. And lastly, Cameo is also coming soon to PowerPoint for Mac. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, will you be incorporating a cameo of yourself into your next PowerPoint presentation? 
To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.